Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry about the wind, but that's just the way it is in this country. Hey, I've got the Yellowstone River in the background here, and uh, basically what I've got a gripe about here is this fish kill that we got going on on the Yellowstone River. Now, my wife was doing some surfing on the internet today, and today is August 21st, Sunday of 2016, by the way. Anyway, she found an article where the Montana Fish and Game Department is screwing around with this herb, this, this insecticide. Yeah, it's an insecticide called, called, uh, Rotin One. Rotin One. R O T E N O N E. I'm going to repeat that. R O T E N O N E. Now, it's my understanding that I'm, maybe I, I shouldn't blame the Montana Fish and Game or whoever, but somebody in the Yellowstone Park ecosystem, that would be the United States government, the Park Service, is playing games with that, with that uh, pesticide, if I said herbicide, I'm sorry, that pesticide known as, known as Rotin One. I, I have trouble pronouncing that name. And I looked it up, I looked it up on Wikipedia. It's organic, it comes off of several plants throughout the world, about 10, 12 plants, but it is mildly toxic to human beings. It is mildly toxic to the environment in general, except for aquatic, did you catch that part? Aquatic life, and especially fish, it'll kill fish. Now, it's my understanding that the Fish and Game Department, i.e. the Park Service or whoever the hell, whatever, is trying to control unwanted species of fish, and they're dumping this rotin one, rotin one, R-O-T-E-N-O-N-E, in certain tributaries and in certain waterways and stuff like that to get rid of, say, maybe even these whitefish that are dying off or whatever have you, and their excuses are trying to protect the cutthroat. Now, what kind of bullshit's that? You don't, I'm not a biologist, but I used to work for the Montana Bureau of Mines and Geology, and one of my areas that I worked in was the Berkeley Pit. And if anybody knows anything about Butte, Montana, they know about the Berkeley Pit. That's one of the most contaminated mine sites, old mine sites on the face of this planet. And one of my jobs was collecting soil and water samples all over the state of Montana. You know, so water pollution is something I definitely know something about, especially as it relates to, to uh, mining. But I've been a fisherman for 50 years and I know damn well that you don't have fish just up and dying by the thousands like what's been going on here in the Yellowstone River. Plain and doggone simple. I told my wife there's a rhyme and a reason for this stuff going on. And I'm calling this bioterrorism. Because these stupid biologists ought to know that you can't use poison, you know, as, uh, whatever label you want to put on to, 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 to protect anything. How in the world are you going to improve a fishery by poisoning it? See, what I think's been happening is they've been playing games up there in Yellowstone National Park because anybody that knows anything knows that the Yellowstone River is one great big drainage out of Yellowstone Park. It flows all the way from Yellowstone Lake, which is a huge, massive glacier lake, all the way, it flows north. And it flows past Gardner, down Mammoth Falls, past Gardner, Montana, all the way through Paradise Valley to, to Livingston, Montana, where I live. And then it flows clear, clear east and goes to Billings, and then it goes out North Dakota Way. The Yellowstone River is 535 miles long, ladies and gentlemen, in the state of Montana. There's not a damn one on it, and there's hardly any factories or any of this stuff along the river. In fact, there isn't any that I'm aware of. Fish should not be dying. But what we got going on here 
is a bunch of biologists screwing around with this rodent one that don't know what the hell they're doing. I am, I am pretty doggone sure of that because you just can't go, have fish going belly up all of a sudden. Things just don't happen that way. It, it, sometimes it takes years for waterways to get polluted enough to start killing fish and stuff like that. But when you have this stuff happening all at once, like what, what like this disaster that's been happening on the Yellowstone River, there, you know, we got a problem here. And I can't name off specific people and I can't name off some specific departments other than the Park Service or the Montana Fish and Game or whoever these clowns are, but you can bet they're wannabe biologists or whatever. But they're going, if, that, if this is the case, if, if this rodent one is the problem, they better stop using it because it's going to kill a trout too. If, I have been a fly fisherman for 40 years and I've been a fisherman for 50 years. And I know all about this. I've caught hundreds, if not thousands, of trout. Well, I estimate that I've caught at least 10,000 trout in my day. And along with those trout, I've caught one crap load of whitefish. It's just they live in the same. They they live in the same environment. Almost have the same feeding habits that trout do. And as a matter of fact, these are technically called mountain whitefish, and. It is my understanding that they've been here since the beginning of time. They're actually a native fish. So I don't know if these people are doing this on purpose, or it's an experiment gone wrong up there in the park, or just what the hell the deal is. But wherever it is, they need to stop. It's that simple. Because they're guilty of environmental bioterrorism. It's that simple. I better stop this video before I spit my dentures out. Thank you very much for watching.